the relationship between weight training and hormone levels, particularly the androgens like testosterone, has long been a subject of interest for fitness enthusiasts and athletes. By exploring the impact of motor neurons and the role of metabolic and mechanical stress, neuroscientist Andrew Huberman provides valuable insights for those seeking to optimize their workouts for muscle growth and overall fitness. Weight training has long been associated with positive effects on hormone levels, particularly androgens like testosterone, DHT, and DHEA. Huberman sheds light on this common belief, but he also points out the intriguing lack of specific information about how this hormonal response is triggered in the body. While it's widely accepted that weight training induces a stress response leading to hormone changes, the precise connection between engaging motor neurons under heavy loads and the subsequent signaling to the endocrine system remains somewhat mysterious. To gain a better understanding of this relationship, Huberman explores the vital roles played by both mechanical and metabolic stress during weight training. Mechanical stress refers to the sheer physical load and tension placed on muscles and joints when we lift weights or perform resistance exercises. In contrast, metabolic stress involves the buildup of metabolites, such as lactate, within the body during intense physical activity. The interaction between mechanical and metabolic stress is the key to unlocking the secret behind testosterone release and other hormonal changes. When we challenge our muscles with heavy compound movements, we subject them to significant mechanical stress. This stress prompts the release of various signaling molecules and initiates a cascade of physiological responses, ultimately leading to hormonal adjustments. At the same time, the accumulation of metabolites like lactate during weight training also plays a crucial role in this process. Metabolic stress acts as a signaling mechanism, communicating to the body that it needs to adapt to the demands of the exercise. In response to this chemical signaling, the endocrine system releases androgens, including testosterone, to facilitate the muscle-building process. Understanding the interplay between mechanical and metabolic stress not only offers insights into hormone regulation during weight training, but also opens doors to optimizing workouts for specific fitness goals. By manipulating the intensity, volume, and rest periods of weight training sessions, individuals can design exercise programs that target hormonal responses and muscle growth more effectively. The concept of creating an anabolic environment within the body is pivotal for achieving muscle growth and weight training serves as a key player in this process. Huberman uncovers how weight training triggers downstream regulation of testosterone release at the gonads through a combination of mechanical and metabolic stress. This understanding opens the doors to developing exercise protocols that maximize the release of anabolic hormones, unlocking the potential for greater muscle gains. Huberman's research uncovers valuable insights into the ideal training protocols for boosting testosterone release. One particularly effective routine involves the 6x10 approach, performing six sets of 10 repetitions with each set executed at approximately 80% of the individual's one repetition maximum. A brief two-minute rest period separates each set. The significance of this training protocol lies in the balance it strikes between intensity and volume. By working at 80% of their one rep max, individuals ensure that their muscles are adequately challenged during each set. This level of intensity encourages the release of anabolic hormones, including testosterone, as the body responds to the mechanical stress imposed by the weight training. Moreover, the 6x10 routine's volume provides the metabolic stimulus necessary for testosterone release and muscle growth. During intense weight training, the body produces lactate, a byproduct of anaerobic metabolism. This lactate accumulation serves as a signal to the body to release more anabolic hormones, further supporting muscle development. Another key aspect of this training protocol is the careful management of loads. Huberman emphasizes the importance of maintaining the prescribed 10 repetitions per set. If an individual struggles to complete all 10 repetitions due to an overly heavy weight, the load is adjusted to ensure that they can achieve the targeted volume and intensity. This attention to detail maximizes the hormonal response and optimizes muscle hypertrophy. Huberman's emphasis on high-intensity, short-duration training as opposed to slow and lazy workouts is rooted in the science of muscle growth and testosterone release. Many people mistakenly believe that taking it easy during exercise will still yield positive results. 
but Huberman debunks this myth. Instead, he highlights the importance of pushing the body with high-intensity exercises to achieve optimal results. When we engage in high-intensity workouts, our muscles experience a significant amount of mechanical stress. This stress signals the body to release metabolites like lactate, which plays a crucial role in promoting testosterone production. The combination of mechanical stress and the resulting metabolic response creates an ideal environment for muscle hypertrophy. In contrast, slow and lazy workouts with extended rest periods do not generate the same level of metabolic stress. This reduced metabolic stimulus leads to a weaker signal for testosterone release, limiting the potential for muscle growth. Athletes aiming to maximize muscle hypertrophy should prioritize high-intensity exercises with shorter rest periods. To illustrate the impact of rest periods on muscle hypertrophy, Huberman compares two groups of athletes following different training protocols. The first group adheres to the 6x10 routine with 2-minute rest periods between sets. This group experiences higher muscle growth compared to the second group, which takes 3-minute rest periods. The key difference lies in the metabolic stimulus during the shorter rests. The 2-minute rest period allows less time for waste products like lactate to be flushed from the body. As a result, the metabolic environment remains elevated, signaling the body to release more testosterone. In contrast, the three-minute rest period permits more time for waste removal, leading to a decreased metabolic stimulus and potentially limiting muscle hypertrophy gains. Maintaining a balanced and nutritious diet is not only vital for overall health, but also plays a crucial role in enhancing testosterone levels naturally. The food we consume provides the necessary building blocks and nutrients that support the body's ability to produce testosterone. Protein is a fundamental component for various bodily functions, and testosterone production is no exception. Lean meats, such as chicken, turkey, and lean cuts of beef provide high-quality protein and can be included in various meals. Fish, such as salmon and tuna, is not only rich in protein but also contains healthy omega-3 fatty acids that further benefit hormone production. For vegetarians and vegans, plant-based protein sources like legumes and tofu offer excellent alternatives to animal-based proteins. Contrary to popular misconceptions, fats are not the enemy. In fact, healthy fats play a critical role in hormone production, including testosterone. Avocados are a fantastic source of monosaturated fats that support overall health and hormone regulation. Nuts, such as almonds, walnuts, and cashews, are rich in healthy fats and also provide zinc, an essential mineral for testosterone synthesis. Cold water fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, offer not only healthy fats, but also essential omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory properties and further support hormonal balance. Zinc is a critical mineral involved in various biological processes, including the synthesis of testosterone. Oysters are among the best natural sources of zinc, boasting impressively high concentrations of this mineral. For those who may not favor oysters, other options like beef, chicken, and pumpkin seeds also provide significant amounts of zinc. Vegetables such as spinach and broccoli are additional plant-based sources of this essential mineral. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to lower testosterone levels, making it essential to get sufficient sun exposure and include vitamin D-rich foods in your diet. Spending time outdoors in the sun, especially during early morning or late afternoon, allows your skin to produce vitamin D naturally. Additionally, including fortified dairy products like milk and yogurt in your diet ensures a steady supply of vitamin D. Fatty fish, like salmon, which we've already mentioned as a source of healthy fats, also provides vitamin D, making it a doubly beneficial addition to your meals. Fitness enthusiasts and athletes seeking to optimize their workouts for muscle gains and overall fitness can benefit from this valuable information. By understanding the science behind hormone responses during weight training, individuals can tailor their exercise routines to achieve their fitness goals effectively. Have you got any tips related to working out? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.